What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with some brand new AEW action figure news for you guys. As you guys know, yesterday was AEW Double or Nothing Fan Fest in Las Vegas, Nevada. They had everybody out for a nice event. Very similar to Comic Con sort of scenario or Ringside Fest style scenario. But it was all about AEW action figures this time. So it was for AEW Double or Nothing, which is happening tonight, which I should be reviewing for you guys. And I wanted to get this video up yesterday, but there were so many damn reveals and uh, Night of Champions was was also last night, so I had to take care of that. Lots of stuff happening this weekend, so I figured I'd get it up for you today before Double or Nothing to check out all of the action figure reveals, but today we're diving into it, man. AEW Double or Nothing Fan Fest. Let's get into the coverage. Let's talk about all of the different action figures that we saw and discuss them here on the channel. So kicking things straight off, man, we have the AEW Unmatched Series number 7, and what I'm going to do is go series by series. So we're going to go through all of the unmatched figures, all of the unrivaled figures, and then we'll get into all the exclusives and things of that nature and touch on some different aspects. So breaking into first man we have AEW Unmatched Series number seven we already knew about this wave you know we, we've talked about it at nauseum kind of on the channel and they showed off this full wave here this one should be in our hands relatively soon but we did have hook here very nice formula on this guy I, I like the way he looks I think he looks pretty solid his figures look like they're gonna pose around and feel nice in the hand so hopefully they will feel nice in the hand and I was worried about his shorts I think on the render image but it seems to look pretty good here so I'm, I'm pretty excited about the hook figure I'm, I'm ready to get him in here we I think we saw like three or four different hooks to just today so plenty of hooks to go around for everyone. We also had a look at Ray Phoenix. Now, this Ray Phoenix got a lot of praise online. I think the jacket looks great. Comes with the World Tag Championship. That white and gold looks really good. You have the zebra under there. Very clean. Very clean attire. I like the gold and white. Those colors always seem to accent each other really, really good. Ray Phoenix, no stranger to the AEW Unrivaled or Unmatched line or the Supreme line, which we'll touch on later. But there is the Unmatched Series 7 Ray Phoenix. We also had a look at Penta, another great Penta figure. This will be, what, his fourth Penta figure that we We've seen. He had the Supreme. He had the Unrivaled 2, the Unrivaled 6. And here we have another one. He looks really good in the red. I'm, I'm all about the Pentas. Okay? I mean, imagine lining up all the Pentas next to each other, man. You got a beautiful visual there. But Penta also looked good. And then completing our Death Triangle, you also have a look at Pac here, who looks to be better than his other go-arounds. You know, he, he has some black and red accents in there. Head sculpt is, you know, it is what it is. But you get the eye patch head sculpt. You get the head wrap head sculpt. You get the screaming expression. So I guess you kind of just pick which Pac head sculpt you like go with that and then you know you can figure it out at the end of the day but he also is going to have kick pad rotation which is something that i desperately asked for and they delivered so hopefully hopefully we would we don't get any figures in the future that don't have kick pad or boot rotation of some kind we also to look at thunder rosa now ringside originally posted this saying that the lightning bolt version was the chase and the white and red version here like the red white and blue with the gold was going to be the regular version but i think they had that backwards i think the red white and blue version is the chase and the lightning gear like the black and yellow is going to be the regular version, but both of these look really good. Thunder Rosa has a ton of figures, man. I mean, my God. We already knew about this lightning bolt gear. This chase is new, though. We hadn't seen that one to date, at least not to my knowledge. But we have the red kick pads. It looks fantastic, but Thunder Rosa has these two figures. She has two Series 9 figures. She has the blood and guts, and then she has her Supreme coming. So she has so many damn figures, but that is Thunder Rosa. And then wrapping up our Unmatched Series 7, we had the CM Punk LJN. Now, this one was in limbo. Not everybody really really new. Is this one going to come out? Is it not going to come out? But it looks like it is going to come to fruition. And this is the only CM Punk we saw today. We didn't even get to see the dog collar match, which is very interesting. I don't think we're going to get more reveals today, but if we do, I'll definitely be sure to cover those and talk to you guys about those at a later date, maybe tomorrow or something like that. It just depends on how the schedule swings. But we do have a look at the full Unmatched Series 7 wave. How do you guys feel about this wave? Let me know down in the comment section below. But moving on, we have some more Unmatched figures. This is also very weird. They skipped right over AEW Unmatched Series 8 and went straight to Unmatched Series 9. And not only did we get Series 9, but we got Series 10 and 11. So we're skipping over 8, going right into 9, 10, 11. Now, CM Punk is a part of AEW Unmatched Series 8. That's also the wave that has Aleister Black in his black suit. It's a very good wave. I'm actually looking forward to Unmatched Series number 8, but maybe again we'll get some more info on that today, which we'll, we'll probably... I guess if I get to the end of this video and we've already gotten some more reveals, I'll try to plug them in there at the end. But here is Unmatched Series 9. We have Brian Danielson, Mox, Wheeler Yuta, Claudio Castellano, Maloney, Jamie Hayter, Alex Reynolds, and yes, Jeff Hardy is coming to Unmatched Series number 9. Very glad to plug him in here. It's not that far away. It's not like right around the corner, but it's not too, too far away. We should have these in hands by Christmas, I would imagine. But getting into this wave, man, starting up first, we do have Brian Danielson. Now, you guys know as well as I do, they always give him this jacked torso, and we're definitely going to be switching this torso out. His torso is way too big. I wish they would have went back to the drawing board, but you guys can kind of see the weird proportions here, but you switch that torso out for a different torso. 
and you get some blank arms in there. This is also coming with a white cloth t-shirt, like a plain white tee. This is sick as hell for me, just because I love figures like this. You guys know that I love figures that are backstage or promo style gears, and we've seen Brian Danielson wear this on TV a lot, and it looks like they actually sculpted him some on-cloud shoes. They, these look to be on-clouds. You'll see a ton of people. If you just go outside, there's like eight, like this, this shoe brand is taking the world by storm, but we have a smiling head sculpt in there. I think this figure is going to be damn nice. I look forward to this one a lot. We also had a look at Moxley from series number nine. Very good looking Mox. It does look like they are using the same leg mold from the unrivaled series 12 is what it looks like to me. I could be wrong about that, but that is what it seems. He's got some cool deco on there. I actually look forward to this one. He's got black wrist tape, got some chest hair. Looks to be a new head sculpt as well, so we'll see, but Mox figures, man, they they have so much potential, but they just, I, I don't know. I don't know. Looks good, though. He's also going to be coming with a hooded zip-up shirt, which is probably going to end up being Velcro, if I had to guess, and he's probably, I hope to God he doesn't stain, but he's probably going to stain, but he also comes with the AEW World Championship. Then we also got Claudio Castelloni, former Cesaro, looking very good, man. This figure looks great. Looks like we have a new torso going here. Attire looks good, and he also comes with a long sleeve shirt. Hopefully, all these Blackpool Combat Club stuff, I hope that none of it stains, because that's going to be a big issue, but he's also coming with a zip-up shirt, but it's not a hoodie. So, Moxes is a Blackpool Combat Club zip-up hoodie, and then Cesaro's, or Claudio's, is going to be one without the hood. You guys know it's like that same one that, like, zips all the way up to the neck that, you know, he usually wears, so that'll look pretty good there. I think the head sculpt looks good. If it looks like Jason Statham, it's a good head sculpt, you know what I'm saying? We also have Alex Reynolds here for our Dark Order. Rubber jacket, which is what it is, but I, I you know, there's some figures coming soon that I think are going to be shelf warmers, and I hope that's not the case here, but it probably is. I mean, there's so many guys that shelf warm. But I guess it's going to just depend on the production, but this figure does look good. I like the Alex Reynolds. You get two interchangeable head sculpts there. You got the rubber jacket, which is what it is. And then we also have Wheeler Yuta. He's coming with a Blackpool Combat Club t-shirt and the Ring of Honor Pure Championship. So, if we can get... I wonder if we're going to be getting all cloth here for all of these accessories. And also, Wheeler Yuta looks to be utilizing a brand new torso as well. And Wheeler Yuta got some love today, which we'll see as well. But, figure looks pretty solid. I like the, like, blood splatter style attire with the white and the white and red. Looks pretty good. You got the boots in there. Pretty solid looking figure. We also have Jamie Hayter in series number nine, which looks to be pretty good as well. She comes with the updated women's championship and waiting on that one. I know a lot of people are going to be excited about that. This one looks much better than her unrivaled 12. I think this one's going to be a better one. All the details in this gear look really good. I'm excited for this figure. I think this is going to be a much better one. Again, head sculpt looks better. I think the formula looks nice. Hopefully she'll be able to do an ab crunch without popping off her torso completely. And then the big one in this set that I'm most excited for has to be Jeff Hardy. Now, one thing that's very interesting about Jeff Hardy, they showed us a great a grayscale head sculpt. Then they showed us a grayscale yelling head sculpt. Then they showed us a colored version. And then they showed us a straight face that was painted. So we got like three different head sculpts going on here. And I'm not sure if this unmatched figure is going to come with all three or if one of these head sculpts or both of these head sculpts will be coming down the line or if the face painted version is going to be coming way down the line. We'll have to see about that. But Jeff Hardy and Unmatched 9, man, this is the figure that I'm probably most looking forward to out of today. Just because I love Jeff Hardy. He's one of my favorites of all time. I'm so much looking forward to a Jeff Hardy figure. I think all the head sculpts do look good here. You got that face paint head sculpt that also looks good. A Supreme Collection Jeff Hardy is what I'm really asking for, but we may have to wait a while for that to take shape. But we did get Jeff Hardy here in Unmatched Series number 9. I like all of Unmatched Series number 9. You got a lot of new blood in there. Looks really good. I can't wait to see what we get when it finally comes to fruition. But we also had a look at AEW Unmatched Series number 10, which does feature Britt Baker, Adam Cole, Kenny Omega, The Young Bucks, Brandon Cutler, and Kyle O'Reilly. And you'll notice that some of these waves have seven figures and some of them have six, so I don't know exactly what the deal is there, but I doubt that this is going to be their gears that are coming in. Some of them are going to be in these gears, like Brandon Cutler is going to be in this gear, but let's dive into the figures first. We do have Brandon Cutler. Very unique figure right here, man. I think that AEW does a fantastic job when they do these promo style gears or these backstage attire style gears, but he comes with a camera, he comes with a spray can, you got the masked head sculpt, the unmasked head sculpt. Very unique looking figure with this print and like the ombre colors, and then he's got his colorful shoes on there. Very cool looking figure and maybe you can put some other guys in that suit if you want to just head swap it or whatever the case is there. We also had a look at Adam Cole. Looks like he has a boom head sculpt is what it looks like to me. I want this to be his pink attire is what I really want it to be. I guess that remains to be seen. We've already seen his black and white. We're seeing his black and red in the Target exclusive. You guys know we talked about that yesterday. If you guys missed our Night of Champions or our WWE Elite Greatest Hits video from yesterday where we talked about Series 3 being leaked out, definitely go check that out. But you get Adam Cole here with a bunch of interchangeable hands. You get the boom style head sculpt. Hopefully this is his pink gear. That's what I really want to see. But next up we have Kyle 
Kyle O'Reilly. Now, Kyle O'Reilly looking pretty thickums right here, man. Look at this Kyle O'Reilly. I feel like, uh, you know, he has tattoos, so it's probably gonna, it, like, lose it for me. Hopefully it doesn't, but I feel like he could probably use some, like, some smaller legs. I feel like the Mattel formula was pretty perfect, but you guys know, the guys like Kyle O'Reilly, Brian Danielson, FTR, I don't know, there's like a weird thing. Adam Cole's even on that list. It's like, some of those guys need to be smaller and some of them heavier, or like, I don't know, it's just a weird mix, but they definitely need to figure out the formulas here, but the head sculpt looks good on Kyle O'Reilly. I look forward to what it's gonna look like at the end. We also have Britt Baker here in the LJN, our first female LJN figure here, and it looks to be pretty good. I guess we're gonna have to see once it's painted and what gear it is and just all these different things. Maybe this is gonna be her uh, her little render image, you know, that like red cheetah print style attire. Again, we won't know, but Britt Baker, she has a long history in the AEW action figure lines, has a ton of different figures. She has a Supreme, she has an Unrivaled, she has an Unmatched, she has an LJN, so her long history of figures is gonna continue, but this one's decent. Looking forward to what it looks like at the end. And then we have Kenny Omega in the Unmatched Series 10 line. Very, very good looking Kenny Omega. It looks like we got one in Series 1, we're getting one in Series 5, now we get one in Series 10. Hopefully he'll be the chase figure in this set. I don't think we had any knowledge here, but this is actually going to be the black and royal blue gear from when he had his match with Brian Danielson, which was a pretty cool gear. You guys can see the little tab on his waistband. I think that will be that gear. It's pretty good gear. I like it. I think it'll be pretty toyetic, especially if it's bright blue and all that. I think this will be a fun one, and they gave him the pissed off really good head sculpt. So hopefully by Unmatched Series 10, where we have pinless joints in the Unrivaled and Unmatched lines, but we will have to see about that. But Kenny Omega looks good. I'm excited for that figure. And then we have the Young Bucks to round out our set here in Unmatched 10. And I'm really looking forward to these. One thing that's really cool is they actually sculpted on the jacket. Now, say what you will about that, but I think it works in this case, and we always talk about how it either needs to be articulated plastic or it needs to be cloth goods, and they went with articulated plastic here, which is going to be a theme that you've seen today. We've seen it with the Supremes figure, saw it with Supreme Cody, saw it with Supreme Lucha Bros. We've seen it with different jackets in the past, just saw it recently with the Supreme Omega at Walmart. So, these figures look really good. I'm excited to see what tights exactly or a gears that it is, how detailed the shoes are. Maybe we can like put some decals or something like that on the shoes to make them even more accurate. You guys know that they were kind of doing the hype beast thing where they were rocking J's and all kinds of different expensive shoes every week. So that'll be really fun. But they come with the tag titles and I'm excited because you can easily like torso swap these with the series three bucks or a different set of bucks and get, you know, uh, a wrestling gear out of these guys. You can get it where they will be in wrestling gear. And I know some people were saying that the, the, the skin tones may be off, but there may be a another character that you can torso swap with it to fix it up and make it in a wrestling gear. So I'm looking forward to it, even if we can't torso swap it. I think these will still be really cool figures, and we'll figure out a way around it, but I'm looking forward to these bucks. They, they, these look really good. I wish we knew what exact gear they were coming in. I don't know if it's going to be in that render image that we just saw, or if it's going to actually be, you know, a new gear. But if it is the render images, you know, it's red and black. It's got a lot of cool details going on, so they should be pretty toyetic. But moving on to AEW Unmatched Series number 11, we have a new lineup here. We have Sammy Guevara, Tay Melo, Tay Conti, Darby Allen, Jungle Boy, MJF, Blade Runner Sting, and Jay White. So Sting is going to be the Luminary Collection. I don't know if this is what these guys are going to look like in the wave. I imagine it will be. Like, it'll be a face paint Tay. It'll be this white and gold Sammy. It'll be a promo backstage gear Jungle Boy. Maybe articulated jacket with white shirt underneath. Or maybe it'll be cloth goods. I don't know about that. We'll have to see. Maybe it's going to be a t-shirt mold with a black jacket over it. Hopefully, it, I would love to see a houndstooth suit MJF or you kidding me? That would be really sick to see. Jay White in the black would be very sick as well. Sting as the Blade Runner would be crazy. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this wave. We don't have any renders or grade scale images or anything. So that is just what we got here. So I hate to see it, but that is unfortunately what we have there. So that is all of our AEW Unmatched figures. Now we're rolling into AEW Unrivaled figures and we have series 13 through 16. And getting into AEW 13, this one's very interesting because they didn't show off the full wave. I do believe they're supposed to be seven figures in the AEW Unrivaled set, but we're going to dive into those figures, and then we will talk about what's missing from the set. So, starting out first, we do have Sting. He does have a new face sculpt here. It's like he's pissed off. He's, like, kind of angry, but it's pretty much the same Sting we've seen, and it has a rubber coat, which is very unfortunate. Would love to see a, a, a Supreme Sting or a Cloth Goods Robe Sting somewhere in the line, whether it's a Ringside Exclusive or whether it's a Supreme Edition or Walmart Supreme, whatever the hell it is. I'd really like to see a Cloth Robe or a Leather 
you know, pleather style robe with Sting, but I love Sting, and uh, it's, already, it's pretty much the Unmatched Series 2, it's pretty much the, you know, the Luminaries Collection figure, but we also had a look at Danhausen. Now, we got a quite a handful of Danhausens today as well. Now, the mainline figure is going to be him in his entrance jacket, which we already saw. He's got his cursed head sculpt, he's got his regular head sculpt, and he not only is getting his regular edition in his entrance shirt with, like, the tooth and the stitching, he is also going to be getting a chase figure in this set. Now, compared to the two-pack that we're going to look at later, it's very similar to this one, except there are no stripes on the lower calves. So, if you guys are worried about the AEW chase figure and the two-pack that's coming with Hook that we're going to look at in just a moment, they are a little bit different here, but this is the chase unrivaled 13 Danhausen figure. But all the Danhausens we saw today look pretty damn good. I think they're very toyetic. I think they look really aesthetically pleasing. I think they did a really good job on this Danhausen. I'm looking forward to both versions, and I'm definitely going to be trying to track down both versions, but we saw the regular version already. He's got the black wrist tape on there, and a rubber cape, which is what it is, which we'll get into later, but we also had a look at the bunny from series number 13. Very good looking figure. Excited to get these. She does have a rubber shirt and entrance stuff, but I think it does look like the character. She's got the long boots on there. Looking forward to this one. It looks pretty lean, like it's going to be able to pose around well. We also had a look at the butcher and the blade in this set. Now, I'm very worried about the blade. The butcher looks pretty good. Uh, he kind of looks like he has Titan Tron live boots, though. Like, his boots look very jacked jacks like which we'll have to get into another rubber jacket for the love of god please get rid of the rubber stuff i'd rather not have any rubber whatsoever but y you know how it is y you guys know exactly what i'm talking about there he comes with sunglasses we'll see how this one comes as we go but he i don't know he looks very weird aesthetically sometimes but the blade i'm afraid this figure right here look how like flat his jacket looks and look at like everything going on with this figure i feel like this one is going to be in the shelf warmer hall of fame just because it's plain black gear plain black coat plain black everything and and then it's just a, I don't know, I, I don't know. Of course, like wrestling figure fans, we want these, but just hanging on the shelves, I don't know how well these are going to do, but we will have to see about that. You know, I, I still look forward to the set. We have a lot of new blood in this wave as well. You got Dan House and the Bunny, the Butcher, the Blade. And after these figures, we're supposed to have, there was supposed to be a Wardlow in this set and a Darby Allen in this set. And I don't know if those are still coming. They didn't mention them or show them off or announce the wave. So I don't know if there's going to be adjustments in this line. Maybe they're going to put more like different people in this line or maybe they're not like I, I don't know what's going on with that but there was supposed to be a Wardlow in red and black and then the Darby Allen in this uh, was supposed to be I think a screaming Darby right I think to my knowledge if I'm not mistaken so I don't know if they changed those at the last moment if they're moving those or like what the hell the deal is there or what the chases are and all those different things we know that Danhausen is the one chase but again maybe we'll get some more announcements today on that to clear that up but that is something that we are missing here but moving it on we do have AEW on Rivals 14. Now, this wave is pretty damn stacked, man. You got a lot of new faces in here. I think the only figure in here that we have already seen is Ricky Starks, and it's a damn good Ricky Starks. Starting out first, we do have Swerve Strickland, Keith Lee, Ricky Starks, Tony Storm, Anthony Bowens, Billy Gunn, and Max Caster. Very good wave here. Swerve looks unbelievable. I love the purple and orange you got going on here. I like the gear. I think the head sculpt looks good. I just hope that all the scaling is good, right? I hope the scaling's good. He's going to come with his jacket. Probably going to be a rubber jacket, so I, I won't be using it, but I look forward to the figure. Again, you're getting a lot of new people in here. Swerve is very toyetic. He got his tattoos in there. Bright colors going on. I look forward to the Swerve figure. We also have Keith Lee here in his black and pink gear. Very cool. You got the Limitless. It's very cool because this looks just like his Elite right like you had the pink and the pink and gray chase and then you had the light blue and then you had the black version so we will be able to compare this to all of our keith lee collections i'm interested to see like it kind of looks like his face is a little bit short or stumpy i'm very interested to see how this figure comes out and how big it actually is and how well it poses around compared to like i hope we don't have a taz situation i hope he's able to pose around and move around nice because keith lee as you guys know can move around very well so we'll have to see but i look forward to keith lee's figure we also have ricky starks coming with the ftw championship now, Ricky Stark's first figure was fantastic. One of the better unrivaled figures they've ever done. And now he has the white, red, and gold with the screaming expression. Now, I'm no real Ricky Starks fan, to be honest, but this figure looks pretty damn good. And if it's anything like his first go-around, it's going to be a banger. Like, even if it was just a repaint of that figure, it would still be good. But you get an FTW championship, which we saw a couple times today as well. But the screaming expression does look good on the Ricky Starks. And you guys know I love a white gear. So, Ricky Starks is looking good to me. Tony Storm looking good here in her, like, Harley Quinn style 
style gear with the red and black flip flop and she's also coming gonna come with a women's championship very good looking head sculpt here again it's a render image it's kind of hard to make out details and stuff when you're talking about a render you don't really know exactly what you're gonna get until it is at least in prototype form but she has her big boots in here hopefully it poses around nice looking at this render I hope she has some she's definitely gonna have double jointed knees but I hope she has some boot cut somewhere whether it's at the top of the shin right there or lower wherever they did like right there at that seam right under her knee is where there needs to be some boot cuts so we'll have to see but she's looking pretty good here with Tony Storm and then we also have our acclaimed figures man entrance gear on the Anthony Bowens very good looking the white and pink you guys know that I love white and pink in general I love pink I love white and then you throw a little bit of black in there for the contrast and the outlines man you have some really good gear here with the Max Caster Anthony Bowens and Billy Gunn figures man holy crap all three of these look good I love the pink shoes on Billy Gunn I like the black jogger pants like he looks a bit plain Jane but he's gonna come with a cloth good shirt he's gonna have pink shoes the black joggers look good and I love that because you could also put a lot of different people in these joggers right like you could do that they're all gonna have their scissor me hands so dude they, they, these are sick as hell and I hope that Max Caster's jersey is actually cloth goods and not rubber so then you'll get the hat the chain the mic the headphones the jersey I mean we could be looking at one of the better figures to relate I'm pretty sure this is supposed to come out this year if I'm not I mean unrivaled 14 like we're only halfway through the year so hopefully or we're not even halfway through the year at the end of June we'll be halfway through the year and so these should be in our hands hopefully by before Christmas I mean I would imagine so right but I like the way all three of these guys look I'm looking forward to all three of them so that is your unrivaled series 14 and then we also had a look at AEW unrivaled series 15 featuring Samoa Joe Ethan Page Chris Jericho as the lion tamer Daniel Garcia Soraya and MJF as the devil so we get our first page figure here from AEW and Jazz Wares we're getting another Jericho finally getting our Ethan Page very unique MJF as the devil but the only thing about these figures is is we only got to see render images of Ethan Page and Daniel Garcia but I think both of them look good Daniel Garcia is actually going to come with the ROH Pure Championship as well so you are going to get uh, a multitude of that championship opportunities to get that it looks like he's going to come with a black towel as well looks like he's going to be able to pose around with the best of them too so that's a good sign there but Ethan Page's head sculpts look good it looks like he's going to come with his entrance jacket so Ethan Page's head sculpts the screaming one and the straight face of the smirk face look really good I'm really looking forward to an Ethan Page figure finally getting him in our hands in our collections will be really cool whole set looks sick I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what those look like and then we also have AEW Unrivaled Series 16 here which also is going to feature seven figures which is really cool because it's going to feature Orange Cassidy which that is a long time not to get an Orange Cassidy that's kind of wild that we're not getting one you got one in Unrivaled 3 Unrivaled 8 and then it's eight series later that you're getting another Orange Cassidy not plugging him in any other waves I mean I guess he could be in like an unmatched 12 or something like that but getting another Cassidy here it looks like Orange Cassidy is going to come with the All-Atlantic Championship or the International Championship so that'll be the first time we're getting that championship maybe he'll come with a backpack hopefully they actually give him legs that are molded man we don't need to see the hands in the pocket sculpt there need to, they need to do something different with that so that we actually have some ways to post him around and run around in the ring we're also getting Takeshita Matt Hardy Jeff Hardy Julia Hart and the guns so you get Colton and Austin Gunn Julia Hart and the Hardy boys here I'm so looking forward to this set man I hate that this is so far away you have so many toyetic guys here so many things going on in this set I'm so much looking forward to this set man god in heaven but unrivaled 16 so far away like we're only on unrivaled 12 you have unrivaled 13 14 15 to get through oh that really sucks man and then you gotta wait so long in the unmatched line it's just god I hate having these like way out like especially for characters you really want to see like I really want to get a Jeff Hardy AEW figure so badly that's driving me crazy but we will have to see what comes of these but I'm really looking forward to these you got a lot of new names a lot of toy eticness that can come to fruition but that is our unrivaled series 16 line and then now we're getting into some AEW store exclusive figures starting out first we have the AEW two packs and this is an Amazon two pack that's up for pre-order right now I don't know if it's out of stock yet or not or if it's on back order but you have Danhausen and Hook in a two pack so we have Hookhausen here Hook is in his black gear, and then Danhausen, like I said, does have his stripes on his lower leg. So it's the Chase Danhausen from Unrivaled 13, but it is going to come with the stripes on the calves. Both of these look really poseable, man. I'm so excited for these. And then you have the rubber coat on Danhausen. I think all the head sculpts look good. All of these look really nice. I'm really looking forward to this two-pack. This two-pack is going to set the world on fire how it already has. I mean, a lot of people I saw said, oh, this is an instant cop. So you get your hair messed up head sculpts for them, and then you have like, they're kind of like neater head sculpts for them, and then they have interchangeable hands. Very 
very easy to uh, easy cut easy insta cut for me i already purchased two of them so that'll definitely be for me there looking pretty damn good and then we also had a blackpool combat club two pack with brian danielson and moxley and both of these look really good as well it's a repaint of the unrivaled 12 mox and then a repaint of the unmatched five danielson and you guys know that uh we, you can you can easily fix up the danielson putting a mjf series 4 torso on there it's not that hard to do something something we should have to do but it does make that figure look way better and digestible and it makes him not like super outscaled so i look forward to these you know the these two packs are typically just repaints and i think these are really good executions and they look really good men on cards so the, this is an easy cop for me definitely will be purchasing these got to see those on display got to see some action shots they look pretty good not gonna set the world on fire but it is a nice addition to the line and then here is a, a few figures here that really really made me excited man look at this walmart exclusive chris jericho with dog tags cross chain in purple rolled up sleeves jacket with purple gloves look at how damn fire this figure is man look at these pants i mean this is a sick figure this is one of my favorite figures from yesterday is this chris jericho i think this head sculpt's unique i think it looks like jericho you can easily switch it out if you don't want to but i actually kind of dig the head sculpt we're gonna be reviewing it on the channel it looks really good men on card this is a sick ass chris jericho like i love this and i think he was wearing some nikes here they look really good i like the per all of it matches it ties in well i'm already thinking of some different fix-ups i mean you could pop this torso off maybe put a different guy in these pants with these shoes it's all gonna just depend on what you can interchange and make but this jericho was one of my favorite reveals of yesterday i just think it's so cool and toyetic so the the purple chris jericho i would imagine this is probably going to be coming at the end of summer i'd imagine chris jericho walmart exclusive joins the long list of walmart exclusive figures and then we have an eddie kingston here with an eddie kingston shirt a backwards hat and a bandana head sculpt wrapped around there so you get the headband head sculpt the hat on head sculpt or not a hat on head sculpt i'm pretty sure it's a loose hat that you can move around as you will but it is a plain jane figure but i like that he comes with like some different stuff you get the eddie kingston shirt you get the necklace you get the hat you get the headband so different interchangeable stuff here i'm sure he'll have the singlet underneath it'll probably if i had to imagine it's probably the same exact unrivaled nine figure maybe they change the singlet a little bit or it'll just be a plain black you know like wife beater style shirt slash singlet and then you can put all the accessories over it i look forward to this one as well pretty cool you know having eddie kingston get another figure in the line i think is a cool way to get him in there if he's not going to be in another line you at least get another version of eddie kingston but both of these walmart exclusives look really damn good and then we also had some ringside exclusives which look really damn good as well another dan Housen here very unique much different here and he comes with a cloth cape now my boy nick storm actually helped me out and when he 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 hooked me up with a custom cloth dan Housen cape and i'm gonna be putting that on my unrivaled 13 on my hook housing two pack and so i'll leave the ringside exclusive cape on that one and then i have a custom cape that i can put on other you know dan Housen figures but it looks like he's gonna come with three different head sculpts he's got really cool packaging i look forward to this you guys know i love dan Housen. who doesn't love dan Housen? very unique guy here very nice very evil very cool love it all i think it looks great the box looks really cool you can open it up and see the figure inside so very toyetic i mean dan Housen is a money making machine he can print money at this point very cool figure and i know that they're gonna make plenty of dan Housens every way they can they're gonna make him so we're, we we saw a lot today we saw the chase the unrivaled 13 the two pack and the ringside exclusive so four different dan Housens just today and i'm sure that we are only getting started but outside of dan Housens ringside exclusive we also have wheeler yuda blood and guts and if you know me you know that i'm not like a massive wheeler yuda guy but he does come with a ring of honor pure championship he has a great looking jacket and he is full of blood here so what what's also cool about this is you get his new unmatched nine figure you can unplug the torso and plug on the unmatched nine and then you have this new gear of wheeler yuda so you can have, you know, if you don't want him in blood, you can have him without blood. So there's definitely different options there. He looks like he's going to be posing around great because he has upper thigh cut, lower shin cut, probably some boot cut as well. Man's going to be posing around with the best of them, but you get some different bloody head sculpts. Very, very cool. The blood and guts line is very awesome. So I, I look forward to it. You guys can see a shot of him there in the packaging. It is all like prototypes, but they all look good. I think these are going to be pretty sought after. And then this one, I love the gear and I love what they're going for here, but I'm not a huge Sammy Guevara fan. So this one's not like the most exciting for me personally, but we do have a new Spanish God TNT Sammy Guevara champion here and this is going to be another ringside exclusive and the packaging looks like it's going to be sweet you know we had TNT champion Cody so we're getting TNT champion Sammy Guevara doesn't quite hit like a Cody to be honest but he has like this purple and black zebra print gear and his figures do pose around nice and they look really good and they look like the character so that is I'm 
looking at a great action figure, regardless if I don't really care for the character or the guy or not. I still like the vest. I like the championships. We're finally getting like Miro's version of the TNT championship and a black version. So you're getting two TNT championships and we're getting like this closed eye head sculpt with the entrance vest. So the kissy like closed eyes head sculpt doesn't really look like Sammy Guevara to me, but you do have the tongue out head sculpt and the smiling head sculpt that all look like him more, I think. And I actually have a friend named Drew and Sammy Guevara kind of looks like Drew to me. So this looks like my Drew action figure. So that's pretty cool there. And then we also had a new hook figure, which is also ringside exclusive. So we got to see four different ringside exclusives here. Very sick gear. It's like the gray and white and black. It's got like the kind of have like the jack-o'-lantern on the front. And then you have the 730 on the back. And then his boots also have like that same jack-o'-lantern style graphic. And then you have, this is definitely my favorite hook because you get all these different accessories. Like you get the bag of chips. You have the chip in hand head sculpt to go with our, you know, CM Punk ice cream bar style hand sculpt. You get the backpack, you get the sunglasses, you get the hoodie, the black hoodie, and you get the FTW championship. So you get a world of stuff with this ringside exclusive hook figure and the packaging looks badass so this is very sick man i love the cloth goods hoodie hopefully it doesn't stain uh they actually there's some people on ebay that make some really good hoodies as well so if, it, if this ends up staining you could probably get a custom hoodie made or something like that that could easily go over it and fix it but uh you know you hate to do that but it is possible you could do that but the backpack the chips uh, all this stuff man so cool like very damn cool i think this like this is the kind of stuff that action figure collectors love especially for me so this looks amazing uh, definitely one of my favorite reveals is the hook figure right there with the with all the different accessories, the bells and whistles. And then last but not least, we have the Shop AEW exclusive, which is probably going up later this week. We have the Jade Cargill. Now, this was kind of leaked out uh, over the past few weeks. We've seen this, but it's a sick-ass figure. You got this, like, white and teal and silver. You got the TBS Championship, which is way too damn big. Holy shish, it's massive. But... You got her green hair in there. She looks really good, men on card. It's got like Jade Cargill in like almost like dollar bill text or font. And this looks very good. Definitely going to be tracking this down. I have all the different Shop AEW exclusives, men on card and loose. So I'll definitely be grabbing a couple of these. And I like Jade and this figure's badass. So this is a really cool one to me. It's not just the same figure to me. Like, you know, it's not just the Omega Unrivaled 4 with a the shirt. They actually did add some stuff to the figure here. But one thing that's weird is she does have a shirt. You know, so I don't know. This will be our first Shop AEW exclusive that doesn't come with a t-shirt that goes with the figure. At least, I don't, I don't know, maybe there is. It's just not shown here. But I think that was everything. I do believe that was every single figure reveal that we saw yesterday at FanFest. Now, one thing that's awesome is tonight we have Double or Nothing. So we do have some good stuff coming later on tonight. But And if they do reveal more stuff, I'll definitely get on here and talk to you guys about it. And we'll discuss it all. But I think I covered everything. I don't think I missed anything. If I did, I'm sure you guys will let me know down in the comment section below. But I thought it was a pretty epic day of reveals. If I had to pick my favorite figure, ooh, I don't know, man. Maybe I need to do like a top five or top ten favorite reveals from FanFest that we'll see. I'm really hyped for the Jeff Hardy. Really hyped for the Hook Ringside Exclusive. Really hooked for every single, really hyped for every Dan Housen figure we saw. Oh, dude, it's so difficult. The Jericho was sick as hell. There were the Jeff Hardy. I mean, there's just the, the Brian Danielson unmatched with the, uh, the khaki joggers. All those figures look just sick as hell. I'm so excited just to pose those guys around and get stuff going but that pretty much wraps up my AEW Fan Fest coverage man thank you guys so very much for watching I hope you guys did enjoy I'd love to know down in the comment section below what your favorite reveal was what you didn't like what you have you know trouble with or what you uh you know just all those different things man I'd love to know but that is going to wrap up AEW Fan Fest coverage I'd love to know your thoughts down below before we get out of here, we got to give a huge shout-out to the MDT patrons. Huge shout-out to the MDT Patreon members. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron member, want some merch of the channel, check out the Pro Wrestling Tee store. All those links in the description below. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. You'll never be